Uh, what is the name of the two drop we were talking about? Thank you, Gwen. Silent Hall Creeper. Let's try out some Silent Hall Creeper. Cut these stupid bats. Hall Creeper is cool. I agree. Hmm. All right, let's try the Yeah, this. Unclear which two drop I'm playing on to. Both of them seem amazing, so. <laughs> I don't want to say Nashi because the whole creeper can trigger the tracker later. Play Sunfall. By Nashi. Yep. Oops. Um, a bit of me wants to be mana efficient and flash and tracker. A bit of me is worried about it just getting killed. So they're probably playing a caretakers this time. All right, here you go. Oh, they play a tap plan this time. Okay. Be my tracker. Hasn't died yet. I worry that if I flash this in, they're just gonna like make me very sad. <laughs> I should probably just chill. Probably just chill. And say go. We can get a card at instant speed in response to removal. Oh, the deuce. As the caretakers. Of course, we have to be very scared of Sunfall, but luckily we draw a counter spell, so that's pretty incredible. God draw. And. They go with free SA open. Uh, interesting. I think that's fine. I've got a replacement tracker in hand anyway. There's no sunfall. I get my enchantment. Enchantment curiosity. Oh, I should flash this in. I should flash this in in response to the trigger. Uh, yeah. I mean, there are arguments not to. Like, they might copy a thing with caretakers or whatever, but it seems so unlikely. Well, what do I know? I know nothing. I'm clueless. All right. Let's play my tracker. Get in with the tracker. Draw a card. Draw another tracker. There you go. Razor. Oh, they do get a land. Okay, this bay, sorry, they do get a treasure. This is not actually horrendous land. Um, 
They're intentionally leaving red open. It doesn't mean they have talk, though. It means they could just be drawing into it. Kind of feels like this is fine. Like a lot of value, but get to resolve another tracker and just kill the baser. Can't say I hugely care. Okay. Torch one of them. The nightmare is if they torch both of them. Then, like, we're suddenly in trouble, but... Mm-hmm. Not have the second torch. You love to see it. Get in for two. Draw ourselves a card. Uh, cast me a tiny bones. I wouldn't get to copy, but that's probably fine. I probably just want to develop a threat. And as long as I have a counter spell open, it doesn't super matter if I copy or not. Cool Creeper. Mm hmm. Cool Creeper with track is really sick. Kind of stating the obvious, you know. Doesn't make it uh, untrue. Right, this is not a sweeper. I wonder if I still want to counter it anyway. A lot of cards. It's like the one thing that can maybe make them go toe to toe with what we're doing right now. But probably not. Yeah. Probably not. Like, they draw a lot of cards, but we still have counter open. We're about to have two trackers. We're about to just draw like our whole deck and just hope this nightmare them out of the game. Probably fine. my enduring curiosity. I don't think I care. Just turn this into another tracker. And say go. Nowhere to run is now a draw free. Soon to be. Laser time. Overlord of the Mistmoors. Ah, uh, he would get two one one. I can just kill the 1-1. One, one. Fine. They also draw two. They kind of get to draw two regardless, right? They have a fountain port. I think this is fine. I think that's like... Honestly, somewhat odds that... Burn. Kill it, you won, draw three cards. So we draw an untapped land, we are still not at double restless quite yet. I go for the throw. It gives them an opening to kill one of my things, but I think that's fine. We can fret. We get to fret and lethal with cancel opening. 
I don't really mind if I lose a Fracker. Draw three cards. Uh, kind of rude. Wholly unnecessary. <gasps> Alright. Nice zero mana ancestral recall, I know, right? That's pretty sweet. Bring in these counter spells. Bring in these duresses, I guess. Uh no to run was actually pretty solid that game. I imagine I'm still meant to like trim them or maybe cut them. Some go for the throats for Bazer is fine. I guess we want to trim go for the throats. But not being able to respond to the triggers going on the stack, I know. It's quite silly. What am I cutting at chat? I'm so lost. On what to trim. I might trim a town ain't big enough, maybe. Quite good though. Just hard to know what to cut. Try this. Yeah. Seems good. Seems good. Opponent's mulling to five. That also seems good. Caress you. Uh, Destroy Evil does not seem like a game. <laughs> I guess it could kill Silent Hall Creeper, but... Rug. Boy the Nashi, let's go. <laughs> nice, nice. Alright, this deck is already feeling better than the the version of that awful deep cavern back card. Hmm. Definitely keeping this. But... Yeah, that one's a nice draw, actually. Mm hmm Luckily we have two very good two mana spells here. Take that, but now I can fear this hopeless. If they have Gix, I want to fear this hopeless. If they don't have Gix, I want to Nashi. I guess Nashi's still pretty good even if you have Gix, right? Like they get to draw a card, but we get to draw a card. How have the Verge Lands been? They're very strange. Having like loads of them in the deck can feel awkward sometimes. We played um, a Tima combo deck a couple days ago, three days ago. And the red green Verge Lands were pretty awkward in that deck. I think you'd probably only actually want like one or two. They're probably, they're, they're like definitely better in two color, but even then, they're a bit strange. You kind of want them to treat treat them as like heart most of the time as if they're like only really doing your base color. All right, dead Nashi, big sad. Hey, funny draw. The Rat Ninja Wizard. That is quite the type line. Oh my god. That's so sick. Ah. Who a player? You're kidding me. Okay. Well, I guess we're attacking them.
Ooh, this is a nice one. Right, let's get back this hopeless nightmare to take the final card, I guess. Get a 2-3 on board that can attack Jace pretty well. Blocks the bat, etc. Well, how's up here? I'm really curious what my opponent's up to. There's obviously something going on. They're playing Jace. Enduring Curiosity is very good at blocking Preacher. Hey, Kali. Good to see you. Hmm, dead Nashi. Okay. That's kind of fine. It couldn't really block anyway. To a player. Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Alright. Uh, we have to attack this Jace at some point. I should probably attack them this turn. Feels really dangerous. I don't know, does the Jace ult matter that much? They get to copy like a spell maybe. <sighs> All right, zero respect. Yeah, I get straight off curiosity for Preacher. That is neat, I agree. Yeah, that's kind of my hope when, like, maybe the J-Salt becomes a single single extra spell. They're really lucky it can become two spells, but... Okay, Land Rock is great. Love that. Basically wanted Land Rock or removal spell there. Things. Or discard means they're not suspending a card for the alt. They are trading the preacher for the curiosity. We will take the trade. All right. If we attack them to draw a card, they get to all. I, I sh this turn I should probably attack Chase. We're going to be developing like a lot of stuff here. We don't really need the extra card right now. Tiny Bones first. Maybe? If they had a removal spell, then I might discard Tiny Bones to Overlord. Right? Okay, this Jace is no longer threatening. I guess I'm just gonna do this then. Guards a land, cool. Makes the loot a bit worse. Uh, I think instead of casting this, I want to suspend this and like cast a whole creeper and just go maximum. Overlord will come in at some point. I don't, I don't think the game's ending in the next couple turns. And the whole creep is going to be pretty good. Unblockable thing with curiosity. Like, this game feels essentially pretty over. It's just going to take a while. God, I expected Jace. God, this has not found a home. Like, it's such a big mana advantage. If you ever get to exile two non land cards of Jace. But. Opponent has completed the game. Hmm. Oh, doing the argument to hard casting. Yeah, that's definitely the consideration. I'm just not very. Jace, so. Uh, I see we were not allowed to board in Unable to Scream against a deck that might have Kaito. So, we will not be doing that. I just want exactly the Aquas. Not even clear I want the Aquas.
I'm like really close to just resubmitting the main deck. Hmm. I wonder what the other good one drops that you can bounce with Fear of Isolation are. I think Fraben Inspector is sadly not actually very good to bounce. Kind of, kind of mopey. Want a wrestler three for one? I don't know if they could go really badly. Eh? These tap lands feel like very awkward this game. We have to get them out of the way at some point, but now we might just get battered. Oblivion. Because they take the Hopeless Nightmare, the Sphere of Isolation, and this Entity Tracker both get so Wait, what? <laughs> both get so much worse, but hey, here we are. Um, well, I just probably just kill their thing. Nowhere to Run was a pretty messed up draw. Put it lightly. Bounce the clue for beat downs. I mean. God. Imagine drawing this well. Who would ever? Who would ever just draw the perfect card every single turn of the game? Rigged. Really is. Damn it. Didn't draw the perfect card for once. Um, I don't want to deal two to them so they don't get to draw a card. I guess I do this. And they do have Gix. We have nowhere to run to. If they aren't killing our tracker, it's like, it'd be pretty bad for them. They are not killing our tracker. Oh boy. I have bad news for you. Get to get their final card and kill the Gix. If they can turn Lazav into a Gix. Eh. Game's too easy. Game's too easy. Good, good lord. Um, if I attack, they can jump block, and that's. Oh, I need to be able to block if they have. Got them in so many corners. Okay, good draw. Fine, we have these fear of isolations that are gonna be quite good. Okay. They don't draw a removal spell, it's gonna be pretty disgusting. Even if they do, it's like time. Okay. Link this back. Play this. This. I assume this hopeless night. Compared to another nowhere to run. And opponent controls. Oh, you can't save your curiosity from exile effects. So my opponent was almost putting up a fight until they cast this Jace. I suspect this Jace is uh, somehow the death now. There are a lot of cards. Mm hmm.
past my curiosity. I reach. Here. Draw two by a card. Hmm. Honestly, I think I kind of want to just hold open it to try. When it's getting out, Gex, to make sure. Uh, we're only actually two cards deeper into our deck than they are. It's honestly a little surprising <laughs> after how this game has gone, but. I guess uh, some of our card draw has been off our things being bounced. <laughs> Go for the throw. Mm -hmm. Wonder if I'm meant to block. I think it's fine to you. Interesting. Apparently this is their plan. Ah. I think I want to go. I think this three steps ahead is not going to count this breach of the skin. I just want to cast things next turn anyway. Draw two cards. Uh, opponent really does just have nowhere to run. Um... <laughs> Very silly. Oh, these can block. Amazing. So we can, like, double block the Breacher. Still kill it. Even through the go for the throat. You can run, but you can't hide. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If that Jace reawakened had been like an enduring curiosity, I think we might have had a game. Honestly. Uh, however, kill the lifelink is. Yeah, I might end up killing the 2 2. That's kind of fine to you. Munch. Tasty, tasty vampire. Oh my god. Um, right. You're turning one of these into it. I'm probably just drawing cards to start with. I don't have anything to trigger track with yet. I guess I could animate a reef. Force them to jump block. I just feel like I'm so likely to draw into things I want to do instead. That their life total doesn't actually matter hugely. Venting JSOL. I think I'm going to do it, but I can't imagine I care about really much of anything at the moment. <laughs> Draw four. Making them free freeze is definitely the correct play. I'm I'm aware making them free freeze is like unquestionably the correct play. But uh, I'm 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 here for a good time. All right, so nowhere to run. Certified banger, apparently. <laughs> pretty good, pretty good.
You should do that, BB. Sounds great. All right, well, we have Nashi. We are against Domain again. Hype. Woohoo. I sure do love playing against Domain. Um, Nashi or Hall Creeper? Never sure. Eternal question. Right, they have the scary card. They have the singular good card in their deck. Fortunately, it is an exceptionally good card. Ah, she grows. Go for a nightmare. God. Okay. Although that hits their beanstalk, and if we town ain't big enough this later, we like get to attack with these and get a hopeless nightmare trigger, so it's kind of funny. Missing a land drop was pretty gruesome. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we're in like a bit of trouble. Not really doing anything this turn. Mm -hmm. Am I allowed to flash this in so I can town ain't big enough later? That does not sound like a hugely winning line, but maybe I meant to save it and just hope we draw well. Great. <laughs> what I would have done for an untapped land there. Tap land would have been amazing. Said they are going to cast a seven drop and we are going to try. Oh. Or we might be about to get ley line binding. I think I'm still casting this anyway. I don't think I'm allowed to wait another turn. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Very surprising. Oh, what? <laughs> sure. I am like kind of thrilled that they're playing Tide Binder against me. I don't know. I just get to know where to run it later. Does not seem like a card that particularly matters. Hacking me for free. Might mean Sunfall. I think I am still going to take free anyway. Archangel of Wrath. This kills the curiosity. Yeah, lockdown main is definitely correct at the moment. I agree. Problem is, if I bounce the lockdown, they do draw a card off beans. It doesn't really accomplish that much. I go. I am very well aware, opponent. Who are allowed to think through their decision. Let it die and bounce two things. Yeah. As if we let it die, we can draw cards after bouncing the lockdown. Although we don't have a thing of our own to bounce in that case. But we'll come back to the binder true. Mm. All right, I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess it's what we're doing. I 
Maybe I'm just like not meant to care about this. Maybe it's fine to be bouncy. Feels sketchy. Save this for Tracker. I probably want to play it for mana though. Oh, maybe I was meant to attack with Reef first and get a card. Bounce nowhere to run and draw a bunch of cards. Is that a thing I could have done? What am I missing, BB? Oh yeah, and bounce the lockdown. Mmm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have. Oh uh, boy. It gives them a card and it makes them discard a card. I don't know. I think I've played this game pretty poorly. And yet, it will appear to be in the game. Just have a get lost, but. Play out the Nashi, I could get Angeled. I might just want to bounce this lockdown and like draw a bunch of cards. Yeah, they had an Angel anyway, cool. All right. I do get to draw a card off the beam, unfortunately, but. That's a fun one. <laughs> oh my God, so many, so many triggers. This is great. Is a lot of triggers. Oh. They're gonna lock down me again, and I can just keep bouncing it and keep doing this nonsense. Uh, there you go. Am I allowed to crack a map? I think I'm allowed to crack one map. To look for a land. Finding a land is like really good, so I think I'm gonna spend the mana. Nope. All right, see you. Out here battling. Pretty good. Playing tracker and bouncing. It sounds great to me. If they don't have a binding anyway. We'll Sounds pretty great. We draw like 10 million cards. The other option is I could just like re essay this. Which might be fine. Draw cards, yeah. I think I agree. Oh, I don't necessarily have a target of my own for Town Ain't Big Enough. Right? That's kind of awkward. I have to like... I was meant to counter. I was meant to counter. I don't want to remove this curiosity from the board. Yes, I'm going to.
discard the lockdown. They have decided that card is very awkward against my deck. <laughs> Understandable. Um. Hmm. Registering a deck with only six lands in it. Yeah, it's a bold new deck building decision. Never expected. Oh, this can become a tracker if I want. I kind of want to hit a land drop pretty badly there. I guess, I guess copying a tracker is basically like hitting a land drop. I say with resounding confidence. Ugh. Am I allowed to spin the wheel? I get to draw two cards to look for it. I can also just leave my counter spell open. My deck is like 80% lands at the moment. I'm just going to go for it. They have this beanstalk in play. I want to like keep it up so I can go toe to toe with what they're doing. Oh boy. I am punished pretty badly. It's fine. We still get to draw literally all the cards. We will be fine. I probably want to draw two cards instead of have go for the throw open. Assume. Okay, we found a land eventually. Oh my god, we can get their final two cards. That's pretty good. Right? We have 23 cards left in our deck. Okay. Go find a land and discard it. <laughs> oh this is very silly oh we hit the attractor thank god <laughs> we drew more cards than domain did that game and finished the and had to discard like several cards to hand size that was amazing that temporary lockdown was so embarrassing against town ain't big enough I can't believe I won that game. I feel like the opening of that game was incredibly rough. But hey, we take those. I need to cut two more cards. I think go for the ropes are actually pretty important. Hmm. I wonder if you're just not meant to like play duress in the sideboard of this deck. <laughs> duress is so much worse than the enchantments. I have to be wary of Bailoffs. Hmm. This deck is very exceptionally weak against me. Oh, I will not deny. Um, I don't really know how this deck ever beats a Bailoff, but you know, it is what it is. Go turn the lights on. This deck is legal for exactly like. 24 hours before people put payoffs in their sideboard and then you can never win. Oh, I kind of want to save this for the tracker. But I've also got this tap plan for the tracker. It's like not like I need to save it. It's also better to cast this early anyway because 
they have less info on what cards they need and are more likely to like accidentally mana screw themselves or whatever. I kind of just figure we'll probably find other enchantments. Fine. Angel. It's annoying. Pretty good. But he kind of wants to decline so I don't die to Archangel or Wrath. Though I guess if they Archangel or Wrath, we have an Enduring Curiosity in hand, so maybe it's fine. Hmm. Please don't Archangel or Wrath me. Avatar. No. That spell's looking pretty awkward this game. The double cabin draw. Ooh, that is a very nice one. I don't want to be able to flash in the second tracker this turn, I guess. I don't know. I guess so. Then please. Yeah, that's a very good card against probably dead probably going to a game free these count spells have looked exceptionally embarrassing do I have to like loot instead yes this is name of the game I draw a loot cards to find answers desperately get me out of this situation Go for the throw, something. It is something. Get in there with the Nashi. Hold open the gate. Trax's biggest mistake, having a throw. Indeed, indeed. That is so good. If I counter it and I get Sunfall, I'm going to feel really embarrassed. I kind of want to counter it, though. Is that bad? Might be pretty bad. Yeah, we can keep up with Beans. I just feel like the game in which I negate there and they don't have, like, the Sunfall, I'm suddenly recovering quite a bit from my position. I don't know. Maybe questionable regardless. That's a lot of six fives you have, friend. Or is... I don't want to just main phase this curiosity and draw two cards before they can have um, answers open for my trackers. Find a nightmare. We can cast that next turn. Another throw back. Okay. Uh, so they get to actually exile this curiosity, I guess. Oh wait, they they yeah, they don't they do. Okay. Oh they have a creature land too. Things are like starting to spiral. 
We're about to draw a lot of cards there, so we will see. They're going to cast both their removal spells in response to this. I think I'm going to counter both of them. Oh, what? On the Nashi? Maybe I don't counter both of them. I mean, the Nashi block's okay, but... I think I'm just countering the... Finding them. Forty cards. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> oh boy. I'm feeling pretty dead. Maybe I need to like hope these become free fours so that they block the throwbacks. Be so lucky as to ever draw a spell. That one might not actually be what we need right now. Oh boy. I think I'm dead. I think I'm gonna die to some six fives. Yeah, the cabin was excellent. Okay. I feel like they're meant to attack all, right? I'm very puzzled that they are. Okay, opponent saw the line. That's an easy line to see. Uh, I guess I chump block an overlord. Take 13. I might need this Nashi to get me an enchantment. Also, that means turning it sideways, which is not terribly appealing at the moment. I don't know, maybe. Alright, that's a very good draw. Nice little one-mana divination. Comfortable one, indeed, indeed. Town Ain't Big Enough is a phenomenal draw, by the way. That bounces an overlord and gives us another divination. Yes, uh, guess that's also a pretty good draw. All these cards. Oh my god. I could play Nashi as a chump blocker, or I could town ain't big enough and like bounce the overlord. They do get to replay it. And I get to hit them for two. Put them to nine. I have four damage in hand. Whether they're going to gain free off of food. Hmm. Alright. Need them to brick for a turn, but... One of them does not count as bricking. One is not particularly close to bricking. Temporary lockdown? No. Hmm. I don't know what they're meant to do though. They might just have to sunfall. Right? I don't know. I think they're probably about to sunfall.
Weirdly, I think I'm still in this game. They did not play beans first for some reason. Okay. Cool. Weirdly, I think I'm still in this game. In fact, I think it is not impossible they die this turn. I have not really done the maths, and it kind of depends on what we draw, though. I think I bounced two hopeless nightmares. Uh, I don't know, Vivi. I should maybe have checked that. Oh, yes, we don't have many swamps. Mm, the lack of black mana might be what loses us the game here. We only actually have two black mana left, right? Yeah. Lack of black mana is the actual issue. He did not consider that. Painful mana is like very unfortunate right here. Yeah, 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 I think I die. Unfortunately. I wonder if I, there was a line to win that time. We very almost won through two attractors, <laughs> but uh, yeah, unfortunately, not quite. We're gonna have a game free where we're racing against the clock. Oh, based on that game, maybe I really want the fourth town ain't big enough. That card felt kind of ludicrous in the late game. I think Overlord is like kind of bad here probably. Like the looting could help. I'm just um just feels a bit slow. It li lines up very poorly against their flyers. Cool. Good two drops on the play. Let's go. Nice draw. Uh, lead on a hall creeper because I really need to draw into my land drops. Oh. Mm, they have the good card. Okay, okay. It's really tempting to put counters on. And kill them. I don't get to draw a card off tracker this way. I think this is pretty good though. If they end up lockdowning their beanstalk, that's probably fine with me. And if they don't have a lockdown, we're just gonna do so much nonsense. Then. I did consider Prof's eidetic memory. It's possible we're meant to be playing it, honestly. I ended up cutting it late in the process, but honestly, it might be good. This. Um. Make another curiosity or get the counters. Seems good. I 
very hard for them to remove two curiosities. Alright. Double Beanstalk is spooky, but we're doing some good stuff of our own. They should oh wow, the copy comes back, but it's a silent hall creeper. That's like kind of funny. <laughs> okay. Cool. But now if it gets locked down later, it will come back to play when we bounce the lockdown, so. Why is the game frozen? Oh my god, Arena, why are you like this? Arena, please. I'm gonna do a quick reset. Apparently. And hope we get in in time. Please, please, please let me in in time. It's insane, yeah. Welcome to Arena. It's been really bad lately. This last, like, week or two has been, like, really bad for Arena issues. I don't know why. Ever since Duskmorn released, it feels like we keep hitting, like, weird bugs. Yeah, like this. Look. Description, description, description. Oh, my God. If I lose this match because of that, our drawer is, like, so strong. I guess they have double beans, but it feels like we're in a favorable position. All right, so we lose a lot of clock, but we don't lose our turn, thankfully. And we draw a turn ain't big enough. Quite nice. Rebuy the whole creeper, funny. Uh, so they have Angel, Avatar, cool, very good. You can have your Overlord. Everyone gets free for ones. This fire off this town ain't big enough now. I kind of want to. They can like flash in a binding, whatever. They decline to do so. I would like to attack. Please. Wow, just happened. Crazy. Put you to four. We have lethal. They don't have a counter. Pretty good. Pretty good. Too easy. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so silly. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine, chat. Everything's fine. They're on one. We have seven cards in hand. Everything's fine. I hope. I forgot about this card. Uh, migration. Oh boy. I'm gonna Archangel of Wrath me into oblivion. Yep. Okay. Four. Go to five. Then you die. Draw a card, by the way. Funk. God, we draw so many cards, y'all. It's great. Entity tracker, baby. Let's go. Love to track some entities. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep this. Fine, Lasha. Interesting. Hmm. Let's do this. Okay. 
Bild. Go for the throat is exceptional draw. Uh, they might have scales of shale. I feel like I still just wait on that. I might want to counter a thing instead of kill a thing. Seems pretty likely, honestly. They go. They do have scales of shale. I'm going to be very grumpy. Not oh, amazing. Oh, that is such good news for us. We have a counter open. If they don't do anything, we can flash in this. They might end up just killing it anyway, but. Uh oh. Good cob. Uh huh. Not being go for the throated. Very surprising news. Do I attack them then? I don't want to. Deal. This is so good. We get it off the board. We still keep our curiosity. We can town eight big enough our curiosity later if we want. This is very acceptable. Take one, go to 12. They don't even attack because they can't attack into this restless reef. Phenomenal. I'm just gonna loot. I guess. Oh, fear of isolation. Gonna take that whole hand. The town ain't big enough now. I believe so. Draw two cards, kind of. All right, I could Fear of Isolation hit the final card of Hopeless Nightmare. I'm worried it might be a cut down though. I think I'm just gonna play, say go with Enduring Curiosity open and feel pretty happy about that. That sounds pretty good to me. Like either they have to draw a go for the throw or we get a 4-3 down. Start attacking them. Guaranteed to get to block there by Lasher. Ending. Dress me. Resolves. <laughs> Deal. We are gonna get their final card. They find a land. Off the trigger. Oh boy, that is a lot of cards. But me almost doesn't want to show them this. But I don't want them like leaving and cut down against me. But also, I should probably respect the ability of their deck to, like, do things. And just take my game actions. Hell yeah. Dix's command. Dead weight. Bigger. Aklazon. Take out Flood Pit. Take out Free SA. Three more cards. Um, definitely take out Tiny Bones. Trim one of these and trim a Silent Hall Creeper. Oh, Unable to Scream is probably actually good against them. They have the four free. I don't know how many Nightmares I'm in. Drawing one copy can be really nice, even against like their style of deck. Like it's 
This was so good, that game, for getting removal out of their hand. I guess on the draw, we're just never able to cast Hall Creeper on two, right? Then on the play, Hall Creeper's probably better. Bunch of removal, a Nashi. Can't really complain. Not even play a one drop. Okay. Hopefully, get to disfigure a Gev. Love to see it. Now they have the choice between killing my Nashi or actually developing a board. I'm kind of happy with either answer. Yeah, now the Nashi gets in. Easy. Love to see it. Okay, just gets a counter. Still pretty good. Um, well, this saves me the life, but it also triggers Entity Tracker later. But we can double spell Entity Tracker with Disfigure later. So I think I'm just going to save the life and know where to run here. That's pretty good. We'll find out our enchantments. Honestly, it's like very possible we're just meant to be playing dead weight instead of disfigure in the stack. So it does like lose you some equity against Monoreb. Oh my god, that is such a good draw. Okay. Okay. They go, try and block that Mento with Entity. <laughs> yeah, opponent least having fun. Unlike me, had a lot of fun. Death by value. Mm -hmm. This thing is... I'm <laughs> sorry.